Welcome back. College basketball continues here on ESPN+. Plus. It's OVC Media Day in Evansville, Indiana. And we are glad to have along with you, with us rather, the new folks from Lindenwood. So we promise we've got more to meet. And we're getting to the final one there. Katie Falco, head coach. Katie, welcome. Thank you so Devin much. Devin Fearing, welcome yes. to you. Hi, Appreciate thank you. Appreciate you. Devin's little, you know, she was in that competitive part last night too. <laughs> she didn't. Who won the shooting contest? Did you win it? I didn't play the Did shooting virtual? contest last oh, night. No, abstain? we were, no, we played like soccer and golf. Okay. And uh, I think dodgeball was one of the sports too. How'd you do? Not too bad. I surprised myself with my golf skills. So golf skill. might pick that up after I retire. <laughs> I just found out that one of the SIU players is actually a high school state champion in golf. So that's why Sophie I Lois thought won. I saw someone yeah, playing and they little, look good. A, a little shaky. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know it either. It was kind of rigged. So we had so much fun and you were in a coach's meeting, Katie. We did. The coach's <laughs> meeting, I don't know if it's quite as fun as the student athlete gathering, but that's, we were productive. That's, that's how that's how they did it as well. Welcome to both of you. Welcome to the conference. Uh, curious what have you heard about the OVC prior to the announcement that Lindenwood was joining you know it's a great league you know we've had some great representatives from the women's basketball side who've competed postseason um, you know familiar with a few of the schools just where we're located you hear sure. about their success and so it was uh, really exciting when our university made the announcement that we're going to be able to join the OVC in a well-established respectful conference and, and for us to be a part of so you're chugging along at a great university as a student athlete and all of a sudden it's like, hey, we're changing conferences. Yeah. How did they go with you? Honestly, I was so excited. I've been in this program for a while and I've made great memories and I feel like this is just going to be the cherry on top and I'm going to be able to end my career on a high note. And yeah, there's lots of excitement, lots of joy, a little bit of nerves, but there's anything I've learned from being an athlete is that nerves are good. So. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to get going. So I made a note in your notes and your bio, average greater than 14 points per game. Yeah. <laughs> Love that as a coach, right? Love it. Love it as Love a coach. It. Talk about how you get there, though. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to do it without my teammates. You know, it's basketball is a team sport, and I owe it all to them. I owe it to my coach to put me in those positions to be able to score and yeah, I feel like with uh, my experience and my maturity, that also helps a lot too. But, yeah, I mean, if you love the game, it'll love you right back. So, Do you look forward, and I, the answer is probably pretty obvious, but do you look forward to new places along the road, mm -hmm. new gyms, new arenas to play in? Yes, no, absolutely. Uh, earlier today they asked me what am I most looking forward to, and I said the travel, just to be able to make new memories again and experience new things and yeah, the atmosphere of it all is going to be really exciting, and I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to play new opponents and make a name for ourselves, and I think it's going to be a great year. I'm curious about the preparation level, Katie, as a coaching standpoint. Is there a lot? Is there – I mean, there's so much available out there on the Internet to be able to pull down mm -hmm. games, ESPN Plus being one of those. Do you scout that way? Is it more you're on the phone with fellow coaches? or How do you – acclimate yourself as best you can going into the season. Yeah, you know, you absolutely need to prepare yourself. You know, when you're in this business, you're you're well versed to the game and you have people and you have connections, you know, of who you who you can build relationships with and, and be able to bounce ideas. Part of it is who you play. We have some history, you know, playing Eastern Illinois in exhibitions. Um, you know, you definitely get on online and you watch games. You watch live games, you get on and you, you pull games from previous seasons. And so you do your work. You see the, the representation in the postseason. You're able to, to get any game we want um, through our, our Synergy account and, and be able to familiarize ourselves and, and then try to best replicate what it's going to take to be at that level. Um, and we feel like we're prepared as a coaching staff and our, our players are ready to get after it. All right, so as a longtime affiliated with the OVC, I've had to do my homework as well and learned a lot about mm -hmm. Lindenwood. But I want you to give me a, a good 30-second commercial for this great university just outside of uh, St. Louis. I'll tell you what, Lindenwood is the best place. 
it was the best decision uh, that I made to be able to come work at Linwood University. Uh, the people that we've been able to bring into uh, our women's basketball program and the leadership that we have across campus within our athletic department from top to bottom, it's a, it's a place that's going upward. Uh, and we're getting better and better every day. The energy, the enthusiasm, it's a place you want to be a part of. Great things are happening at Linwood, and it's exciting, and uh, we couldn't be more proud to be a part of it. So you're nodding, Devin. Mm -hmm. But kind of add to that a little bit from yeah. your perspective as a student athlete. Mm -hmm. I mean, Coach Falco's always been big on it's bigger than basketball, and the life skills that I have gained and the memories that I have made will stick with me forever. And it's not just on the basketball court where we aim to have success. It's in life, it's in academics, and it's a very strong family atmosphere. And we all get along great. We all have you know, the same goal set in mind. And I'm so thankful to be a part of a program that values their athletes so much. And our staff and our AD and Dr. Porter, our president, has been tremendous in supporting us in you know, going to this new level. And I'm just really thankful mm -hmm. to be a part of Lindenwood and be a student athlete and to be here today representing our school at the OVC. So here's your only test for the day, Deb. <laughs> OK. And there's only one person that's going to grade it, and that's your coach to the left. Describe her coaching style <laughs> and this team style mm -hmm. that you're aiming to uh, to emulate yeah. on the floor. Well, with our team style, I think this year really, because we're new to the OVC, we we just want to be gritty. We just want to work hard. We want to make a name for ourselves, and we want to step off that floor knowing that you know we gave it our all, and all that really stems with coach and her mentality and the way she leads us and she cares about us so much as people not just as basketball players and you really feel that like love and support for her and so not only do we you know do it for her we all like do it for each other and she's great and I love her and we've had great memories together we've been together a lot of years and yeah, she's awesome. So you're probably about the 17th or 18th interview I've done so far today, and I have yet to use the word gritty. Oh. How'd she do with that description? You know what? Devin is just special through and through, and she knows that. She aced it, 4.0 student in the classroom, and 4.0 with her response there. Um, I just can't say enough positive things about Devin and how she's embraced me um, and how she's been able to move this program forward on the court, but more importantly, who she is as a person. So. I love you too, Devin. It's a, it's a really cool opportunity when you have the ability to be able to connect with somebody. And, you know, we, we coach to make a difference. That That's why I coach is to hopefully to be able to make a difference. And, and you know, she makes a difference in, in our program every single day. So thanks to coach. both of you. Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you'll have a long and fun tenure in this conference. It's a great place to be. I'm prejudiced coming into it, yeah. but there's no there's no reason not to be when yeah. you experience the things that each of you are about to experience, the highs mm -hmm. and the lows, and that's that's going to be it's, it's part of it. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be new, exciting, new places to go. Mm -hmm. Devin Fearing, Katie Falco, I got it right. Hey, you did it's great. been a while. Thank you so much, and congratulations yes, yeah. on being here. Enjoy the day. Enjoy. We got lunch soon too, which is yeah, really important. Yeah. But enjoy the day. Enjoy the Ford Center. Enjoy those kinds of things yeah. that you're going to get to see. And we'll see you back here in March. Thank, Thank you. Thank so you for this enough. opportunity. Lindenwood University. We're only halfway through. More to come. This is OVC Media Day, presented by Center Point Energy, right here on ESPN Plus.